an annual tradition. We go every year. We call it the Candy Parade. The Maritime Gig Festival. A lot of participants, a lot of people watching. Which is why what happened here scared so many. I immediately was like, not our parade too. Toward the end of the Maritime Parade in Gig Harbor, one of the participants was just strolling along. Then a sudden burst. Like, like really accelerated. The video so graphic, we're pausing it at impact. But Cora Reuter saw it all. She was taking pictures. People seemed to like go under the car or fly to the side. And as soon as it happened, I was like, there's no way no one died. Incredibly, nobody did. Several people just came in really quick and made sure, pulled people out to make sure everyone was okay. Dads came in and just ripped their kids back. Five people injured, four taken to the hospital, but police believe they'll be okay. Could have been much worse. Uh, I think we were very lucky on this one. Chief Kelly Busey, proud of the first responders. Police and fire just happened to be set up where the crash happened. We can't plan for every contingency, but we do have a lot of uh, things that we've thought through, we've rehearsed, uh, and we have people stationed in key areas to handle incidents like this. Now here we are hours after the crash, pretty much everything has been cleaned up, things are back to normal, moving along on Harborview Drive. All indications are this was a freak accident, but so far police have not had a chance to interview the driver. She was very shaken up, obviously, and uh, needed some medical attention, uh, and as well as our attention was drawn elsewhere, too. But we'll be following up in the coming days to figure out exactly what happened through her perspective. Long after she witnessed what seemed like a sure disaster, Reuter can't help but think about what could have been. It's amazing there weren't I mean, it's just a miracle yeah, that it could, have, it could have been way worse. Thankful that it wasn't. In Gig Harbor, Jim Nelson, King 5.